I have been doing something called self-immunization for about 28 years now, which is basically the process of taking small amounts of snake venom and injecting it into my body in order to build up an immunity. My fascination with snakes, I was really born with it. But when I was like 10 years old, my father took me down to the Miami Serpentarium and there was a very famous herpetologist there and he was injecting himself with snake venom to become immune to it. And at a very early age, I, I just thought that was incredible. The very first time I tried snake venom, I was just trying to do science, you know, home science. I, I didn't know where it was gonna lead me to. I do it like every 10 days now. I had a mixture of venom, black mamba, cape cobra, and a saw scaled viper, which is a big killer. Before you die, I've seen photos you bleed through your gums, through your eyes, through your ears. You know, it's nasty. I've done some really stupid things thinking that I was, you know, trying a new experiment, but they would go wrong. Lovely snake. I had this infamous accident. I only wanted to put a little bit of the venom and there was quite a good whack in the syringe and I just wanted to press down just a little. I maybe got distracted for a second, looked up and I pressed and then the whole thing just went <laughs> So I just wanted a little but I got three snakes. They were telling me I was potentially going to lose my arm. I spent uh, three days in intensive care. Now I am working with a group of top scientists in Copenhagen. They are farming my antibodies. The idea is to make an antivenom that is going to be much safer and cost effective. It's just an exciting project to be involved with. I don't feel like I'm on my own injecting snake venom for, for no reason. It has a purpose now. Anywhere from like, you know, 125 to 150,000 people a year die of, of snake bite on this planet. If it goes to plan and we make a cost-effective anti-venom that is going to, you know, help the planet, I know that I will die with a smile on my face, that I achieved something that was worthwhile. Mm -hmm.